So recently I was taking a look on Gumtree, of course, you know, just up to my usual antics of trying to find some used price performance, trying to find whether it be a GTX 970 or a GTX 780, and I noticed that the prices are actually pretty bad. And then eBay had a sale, and I picked up two GTX 1060s in US dollar equivalent terms, about $180 a pop, so clearly winning. And then it got me thinking, uh, DDR4 memory is also coming down in price, and there's also some really good options out there, especially with the launch of the new Ryzen CPUs, uh, the Ryzen 7 2700X, for example, great value for money. I think with all this information, I'm computing it, and I've realized one thing for you guys is that maybe the dawn of new parts is back again. And maybe another good thing to come out of this is that used parts will get good again. But let's discuss these things. Today's video is brought to you by internext.com. With the goal of improving people's lives, their first service, Xcore, is an end-to-end -end based encryption, peer-to-peer -peer cloud storage platform known as xCloud. Already in alpha and heading into beta in quarter three, 2018, checking it out is completely free. Links in the description to find out more. Welcome back to Tech Yes City, and today's video is gonna be a little bit odd. It's sort of gonna talk about how the market shifts in mysterious ways and when there's one thing that happens there's also an equal thing that happens on the other side and over the past year especially the rise of used parts has definitely spawned a new market there's a lot of people out there who enjoy used parts i love used parts it's got a real big passion for it here on the channel but at the same time of course we have to acknowledge at least as used parts hunters like myself we all have to acknowledge that we do what we do because the new parts keep getting better. And when they keep getting better and more competitive, it enables us to get better deals. And so it's a really weird market that's linked together in one way that works in a mysterious way where at the moment, like I hinted at in the intro, we're kind of heading back towards, I believe, buying new parts, at least when you wanna get the best value for money. Because recently I started looking on Gumtree, I started looking for deals and I noticed that it seems to be that there's a lot more people trying to pick up deals, so that of course is the first problem in itself. But the second problem is that a lot of people are still asking too much for their used deals. Uh, for instance, I actually haven't picked up a GTX 970 at least in a very long time because every time I've gone to put an offer down on one, someone literally wants about 200, over 200 Australian dollars for one. And now, quite simply, in my opinion, they're not worth that price. They, in essence, carry 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM. It's not a true four. I mean, the 512 portion is slowed down. And that leaves rise to the 1063 gigabyte, which is very close in specifications, but it's going to have a longer life since it will have better driver support going forward. And it's also more power efficient. So plus, there's also the other fact that it's newer as well and that it's on statistic averages, even if you buy a used GTX 1060, because it uses less power and because it's newer, on average, it would have a higher likely chance of lasting longer and being in a better working condition. So there's those factors that are going for the new segment and those prices tend to always base and judge what the used price should be. And so lately what I've seen with the used prices is that the market is shifting towards people simply trying to ask too much for their used parts. And if that happens, then my deal hunting isn't going to be so fun. Of course, I'm always gonna be trying to pick up old PCs like H55 motherboards. That's never going anywhere because the amount of value you can extract out of those parts when you go buy them and you know what you're doing with overclocking is phenomenal. But when it comes to these new Gravis cards versus the used Gravis cards, I think a lot of people are still asking a bit too much for their used graphics cards, especially GTX 970s. Now the GTX 970, I still think to this date, is one of the most successfully sold cards in the market. There was also before that the GTX 780, which sold really well too. And then before that, the GTX 670. So these three cards, you will see them pop up a lot if you're into used price performance. And I find that the GTX 780s tend to be the best deals that I've gotten in the last few months. Uh, and as I said before, I've never actually picked up a GTX 970 for a decent price. 
200 Australian dollars, that's all I'm willing to offer the max. And yet everyone wants to keep them and think that they're worth $250. And that's exactly what I picked up a 1060 for. So there's the used segment at the moment. Of course, there's always going to be a deal when someone tries to sell something and they just want to get rid of it. There's always going to be those deals. They're always going to exist and you're always going to be able to get them for really good prices if you're quick to snap them up and know what that product is worth. But I feel if you're looking for a graphics card, because that's the pretty much the hottest thing at the moment with the cryptocurrency mining boom, still leaving graphics cards slightly overpriced, I still think people are still looking for used graphics cards. So the most popular choices would probably be the R9 290, the GTX 780, the GTX 970, and the GTX 670. And especially those last three NVIDIA cards, they were sold in big numbers. So a lot of people bought them, and in turn, a lot of people would be wanting to upgrade and offload those cards. So now here's where we have the driving factors that are starting to lead back towards new parts. And the first was the cryptocurrency mining boom. A few months ago, that sold out Gravis cards and prices, if you want to go buy a new Gravis card, even something like a GTX 1060, that was nearly double the price of what they were originally asking for it. But the good news today is, is that that's settled down. You're only slightly overpaying as to what you would pay over a year ago. Though the second driving factor is DDR4 memory. Now recently, Micron, Samsung, and also Hynix have been slapped with a class action lawsuit. And so the good news out that's coming out of this is that we could see DDR4 memory prices return to normal, at least somewhat of a normal level, because they were ridiculously overpriced as well. And it was probably this main factor that stopped me from recommending new builds in general, because we could have went out and built a new PC with the minus the graphics card and got a used graphics card and had really good price performance. But then the DDR4 memory was stopping that altogether. So it really became an atmosphere for hunting used deals. But I think with this class action lawsuit, it's gonna be a really good thing for people who want to build a new PC and they wanna get really good value for money. Because even now on Amazon, I've seen prices of DDR4 memory come down to levels that I haven't actually seen in quite a while. So that's some really good news. I look forward to in the next month, keeping an eye on this. But also as well, another, I guess, synergetical benefit, if that's even a word, synergetical, <laughs> is that with the new parts and when people go to buy those new parts, they then have more used parts to sell. And of course, people who are thinking about buying used parts, they might just go and buy new parts for the advantages of having warranty and of course, just having that peace of mind. And so this is gonna to lead to a better market in general, not only for used PC parts, hunters like myself, but also for people who want to build a new PC. So good times are to come. I've actually picked up some really good deals myself on both new parts and used parts, but I feel like the balance is starting to shift back towards new parts a little bit. I think in the last year at least, it's shifted heavily towards used parts to the point where graphics cards like GTX 970s are ridiculously overpriced. Anyway, that's about it from me. Let me know what you think of this whole used price performance versus new price performance, the whole market segment and how you see it shifting and going because I'm getting excited. Things are gonna get good on both fronts. I look forward to bringing you guys a lot more content on both sides of the fence and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. Peace out for now. Bye. But I feel like the, the balance but it seems in the last few months, or at least in the last week even, prices are coming down uh, quite astronomically. Like, if that's the word we know. So I get asked about used deals, hunting, and which parts you should go for. And uh, I guess when you look at it, you've got like GTX 970s, they sold really well. GTX 780s, they sold really well. So statistically, they're going to be the cards that you want to get because they sold the most. So statistically, there's gonna be the highest chance of them being sold on the used market. But the weirdest thing is, is that I haven't picked up a GTX 970 for a good price yet. Now the GTX 970 is an interesting card. Upgrade and offload those cards. So, do you smell something? No? Is my camera maybe blowing up? Okay, thought I smelled something, something burning. Okay. Dude, like. And then you couple it with a very cheap motherboard, you get a cooler included. That's really bringing some table uh, value to. That's really bringing. Dude, I smell something, eh? And there you go, guys.
don't listen to everyone's advice all at the same time. Form your own advice, form your own opinion, find out what your market's about, find out what your energy and aura is all about. Entrance yourself with that energy.